Hello, welcome back to another Perfectly Imperfect tutorial. My name is Hannah. You may have seen my artwork on TikTok at Hannah Selger 2 If not, go check it out after this video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a perfectly imperfect sailboat. It's so cute and I'm really excited to show you just how to do it. Before we get started with the tutorial, I do want to go over all of the supplies that we will need. If you already know what you need, go ahead and skip ahead. Don't forget to like the video, comment what I should do a tutorial on next, and subscribe. The first thing you'll need for this tutorial is a thick piece of paper. I recommend watercolor paper or a mixed media paper. You just need it to be thick enough that your paint doesn't bleed through and that your pen does not tear through. You will also need some watercolor paint. I recommend this set from Michaels. It's only $5 and comes with 36 colors. I will link it in the description below, but any old watercolor set will do just fine. You will also want a jar of water, a paper towel, and a paintbrush to go along with it. Lastly, for this tutorial, we will be using a glass dip pen. It's not required, but highly recommended. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and use a Sharpie marker or any other kind of pen. You will just want to make sure that your paint is completely dry before you go ahead and put that ink on top. Here's a close up of what that pen looks like. It will change the way you art. Trust me, go check it out after this video. It's gorgeous very fun to use and writes just absolutely beautifully. Now that we have all of our supplies, we are ready to get started with our sailboat tutorial. To start out drawing our perfectly imperfect sailboat, we're gonna take our yellow paint and draw some triangles for the sails on our paper. Again, you don't have to use yellow for the sails if you don't want to, this is just the color scheme that I decided to go with, but go ahead and choose whatever colors you want. So you're gonna have your two triangles on the front of the page. One of them is gonna be slightly arched at the bottom. The other one's going to be a right 90 degree angle triangle. Next, we're gonna go in and add the base of the boat. I decided to use a red for this, but again, use whatever color you want the boat to be. This is gonna be basically a rectangle, but one of the sides is going to be curved and we're gonna get rid of one of the corners here. Next, we're going to add some blue for the water that the boat's in. I like to use a couple different shades of blue to really give it some dimension, but you could do just one, you could do a light blue, you could do a dark blue, whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat, go ahead and do that. Next, we're going to dry it off with a paper towel to get that fun pattern. Again, if you do not want the pattern on your boat, go ahead and wait for the paint to dry before going on to the next step. Once your paint is dry, we're going to take our glass dip pen and we're going to go in and start by outlining the right sail first. Here you see we have a right angle triangle for that first sail. And then we have that center and then we have the center of the sail right there. Next, we're going to do the curved sail, the one that's caught in the wind. We're going to start by drawing a curved line from the top to the base of that center line that we already drew. And then we're going to curve out the long edge of the triangle and the short edge of the triangle so that it looks like it's really caught in the wind here. Next, we're gonna draw the base of the boat, which is, like I said, almost a rectangle, except we're missing one of the corners and it's gonna be curved on that whole side. Remember, what we're drawing is perfectly imperfect, so please go over your lines more than once, three times to make it look intentional. We love it that way. I think it looks adorable. Last, we're gonna go in and draw some waves for the water at the base of the boat, and then a couple little rows of waves beneath that, just to make it feel like the boat is actually sailing in the water. Now go ahead and add your dots and your squiggles or whatever you want to make your piece unique. You could add some stripes to the sails or some words, you could put a name on the boat, kind of whatever you want, just go ahead and add some character to your piece. And there you go, you just learned how to draw a perfectly imperfect sailboat. Don't forget to sign it because you just made a beautiful piece of artwork. Thank you so much for following along with the tutorial. I would love to see everything that you came up with, so please share it on Instagram and tag me at Designed by Hannah, or share it on TikTok and tag me at Hannah Stelter2. Also, don't forget to like the video, comment what I should do a tutorial on next, and subscribe. I hope you have a gorgeous day, and I will see you next time.